What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer, and I am back with another video. If you guys have not subscribed to the Cryer family, what are you guys waiting on? All you have to do, subscribe to the channel, is turn that bell on. Ding! But turning the bell on only means you are subscribed. In order to get notifications every time I upload a video on the Cryer family, you must turn on the bell with the vibrating symbol. <laughs> that way, every time I upload a video on the Cryer family, you, you, and you as well will get the notifications. So guys, 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 I am about to be reacting to a video face to face with my 13 year old brother, Darian, ended badly. My son, Damon Prince from the Prince family, just uploaded this video. I have not had time to watch this video yet, but I've been wondering exactly how that conversation went because I was only getting a one-sided story. So your boy wasn't present at the time. So guys, after this video, don't forget to smash that like button Smash that like button. Matter of fact, you can smash that like button right now. And while you guys are at it, if you guys don't know, I have a new channel called OMR. That channel is for reactions and reactions only. The link to that channel will be in the description box down below after the video, or you can go over to that channel right now. Pause this video. Pause the video right now. Click on the title of the video. Scroll down where it says link to new channel. Press those little blue words down there. Go on over to that channel subscribe to the channel, keep the notifications on, and come right on back over to the Cryer family and watch this video. So guys, without further ado, we're gonna jump into this video. Also, if you guys have a reaction video that you want me to react to, all you have to do is leave me a comment in the comment section down below. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. How you guys doing? I'm doing ah. Uh, Right, if you're new to the channel, subscribe right now. Join the fam, because we drop in banger back to back for the rest of 2021. Also, guys, we do post notifications shout outs at the end of every single video. So, you guys want to have a chance to get shout out on our videos. All you gotta do is turn notifications on. Once you do that, comment down below. Today, 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 I am finally pulling up on my little brother. But I'm not pulling up to fight. I'm actually pulling up on that, on that negative energy. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to fix stuff that, that was broken. I already met with my dad the other day. And it was raining outside. It looks like it's about to rain now, man. I don't know what's going on with the Texas weather. For some reason, it's been raining every single day. I don't know what's going on. It's getting very annoying. So basically, I text my... Guys, just so you guys know, it is so true, man. Texas, Texas got it going on, I'm not going to lie. But the rain, man, is non-freaking-stop down here in the south. It's constantly raining. But I don't mind that. I can deal with the rain much, much better than I can deal with the snow. My dad, I said, yo, dad, I'm on my way, and uh, I, I'm finally ready to talk to my little brother. Now, my little brother, Darian, he was 12. Now he's 13, so he was a preteen. Now he's an actual teenager. Mm. My dad said he matured a lot and all this stuff, and I haven't seen my brother in a very long time, man. And, you know, I was just like, it's time. It's time for me to be the bigger person. That's why I unblocked my dad. I hit him up. You know what I'm saying? And we linked up, we talked. I think the conversation went pretty good. I think it was very much needed. But I think the conversation, guys, was really, really much needed. I mean, there was so much distance that was created that it was unbelievable. And I was so appreciative that my son agreed to actually meet with me, um, regardless of the circumstances that caused us to actually meet back up. It was just really nice and, you know, I felt really appreciated the fact that my son accepted my apology, you know, with the disrespect and stuff because it was a lot of disrespect with the diss tracks and making a video in front of his house like that and stuff. And I feel like it was real disrespectful to not just Damon, Bianca, but to Kyrie, DJ, Nova, Ayla, and everybody in the household, you know, as a whole. So I was just really, really grateful for that. Now, it's time for me to talk to my little brother because I have to see what's going on. I have to see what type of energy he on. And I'm just trying to, my goal today is to walk away from this conversation on a good note, on a positive note. Amen. Uh, and I, I and honestly, I, kind of, I miss my little bro. You know, I, I want to rekindle things with my little brother. And um, so today I'm going to attempt to be the bigger person. Um, and just wish me luck, you know. Um, give this video a fat thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if y'all new. 
comment down below how you feel about everything. Just comment down below, because I know it's a lot of people that have mixed emotions about a lot of stuff. People were saying that I should have left my dad alone. I should never reach out to him. And I should have just basically just kept it moving. But honestly, man, when you really care about somebody, when you really care. You know, guys, just to say something real quick, it's almost like, I don't know what it is, man. People like to see family into it. It's like they want to see, they'll sit there and say, oh, well, that's great that you and your family this. Oh, you know, much love and respect. But it's like people enjoy seeing us apart than they enjoy seeing us together. I mean, people make mistakes all the time. Does it mean that they have to take it to the grave with them? Does it mean that they are not allowed to be forgiven for the mistakes that they've made in the past or in the present? I just, you know, like, and I'm not saying that in general towards everybody because everybody's not like that. I had a lot of people rooting for me and Damon both that we would come back together and rekindle our relationship as father or son because me and Damon Bond, like I said, the way we had it can never be broken. And I don't know if he's ever gonna look at me the same again, even though he has accepted me back into his life. I still don't know if he's gonna ever look at me the same, but it's like, everybody's not the same. Everybody is not wanting to see us tore apart. But you have a lot of people who's actually like, skip your dad, forget your dad. You know, you come on guys. You get girlfriends, multiple girlfriends, multiple boyfriends, but you only get one set of parents, one set of real, genuine, real parents, you know, so. Again, everybody doesn't feel the way that some feel, but you have a lot of people out there who's just like, it's almost like they praying on your downfall, bro. It's like they praying on your downfall. Care about people, you can't do that. I'm the type of person, you know, I can't just, like my dad's sick. I can't just act like I don't care about him, even though everything that happened. You know, I, I, I got a big heart, you know, and honestly, That's I feel like my facts. dad got a big heart and I got my big heart from my dad and my mom got a big heart too. So I got, I guess my heart from my parents. Yes, she does. And um, for some reason, I don't know what it is. It's like, well, somebody do me dirty. I just can't do them the same way. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm like that. I just, I don't know, man. You know, they always say two rights don't make a, I mean, two wrongs don't make it right, but I just can't leave nobody hanging. So I decided to meet with my little brother because I feel like me and my dad, you know, we cool. And then he came over to my house and we reacted to the diss tracks together. Now, Bianca was not there when my dad pulled up the, uh, the react to the diss tracks. With Facts. Him. Bianca wasn't there. So Bianca has yet to still talk to my dad because I don't know if Bianca, she's not ready to talk to my dad yet. But uh, I don't know, I guess it's gonna start with me, man. Me bigger, being a bigger person. Be That's the thing right there. Even though that me and Damon, we did talk and you know like we're trying to move forward with everything i can honestly tell you guys i don't know if bianca is going to actually feel the same way that damon actually feels about the whole situation i mean i'm damon's dad and bianca looks at me as her dad you know but i don't know if she's going to share the same feelings um that damon shares i mean you know that's a conversation that's still yet to come. Um, you know, they say it's better to have a small part of somebody than to have none of them at all. So we'll just have to wait and see how that goes. But anyway, I had wanted to just film a quick intro before the video starts, and I'm actually gonna record our whole entire conversation, me and my little bro, like I did with my dad. Hopefully it goes well. Um, and we're gonna go from there, man. But anyway, let's get it, man. Let's go. Alright y'all, so I just texted my dad a little bit ago. I told him I'm at the crib, so tell Darren to come outside. <sighs> Here we go, man. Here we go. Can I open the door? I think right here, looking at this, Darian, he looks a little nervous. You can actually see the the tension between Darian and Damon. They both like, I don't know, it's almost like when I got into Damon's car and it was raining and stuff, and you can feel like the tension. The only thing I could actually say was, nice to see you, you looking good. And it's like, and that's what I'm looking at right now. How you feeling? Cool. Happy to see you. You happy to see me? 
Yeah. Happy to see you too. It's been a long time. True. How long have you been? Probably like, you said Christmas. Probably like since Christmas break. Christmas break? It's been a while. About seven months? Yeah. <coughs> you seen the video with me and Dad? Yeah. <coughs> I mean, so, what, you, what was you up to? Nah, I'm chilling. Something that I always do. That's what's up, that's what's up. How was school? So far, he's asking some really, you know, like brotherly questions that's positive as far as like, how is he doing? How is things going with school and stuff? So I guess this is like, I guess formalities, you know, I didn't know if they was going to just skip the formalities and just jump right into what they had to say. But obviously, Damon misses Darian as much as Darian miss Damon. So, so far, it looks really good. It's over with. Last time I seen you was 12 years old. 13 now? 13. So how you feel about me and dad uh, meeting me up the other day? I felt pretty cool. I felt pretty cool? Yeah, man. So, um, basically, you know, I told dad that I wanted to meet up with you. I feel like it was time, you know, for like life short. And, um, I just wanted to see what your energy was like, you know what I'm saying? So how you feel about everything about this beef stuff and how you feel about everything that, you know, that happened, bro? How you feel about everything? Ooh. I mean, how I feel about it, I kind of do feel pretty bad, cause I'm gonna be honest. Me and Dad was the main one that started something that started, even though you and Bianca was chilling. So, like seven months ago, when we made that diss track, you had a right to make one bad, even though it was a little bit far. Dude, my, though, my dish shirt was far? A little bit. Even though I did say DJ carry my sons. You said DJ carry your sons. What about the, you told, you said you made my wife horny. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting for that to pop off right there. Wow. I don't know what's going through Darian's mind right now and I'm almost scared to even press the play button but I guess if I made it this far I might as well keep on going that's funny to you? nah what you laughing for? <sighs> what about yours? Well, what's so funny? bro this is it what? To, to my dad, it was a little disrespect. He said, My mom knew a boyfriend, took his uh, uh, family, took his dog, took his everything. No, nah, don't try to skip over this. Hold up, let's backtrack, bro. <laughs> All right. What's up with the, what's so funny? You say you got my, you, you say you got my white warning. What's up with the, you try to skip past that, like you, like we, you, like you didn't say that. So let's talk about it. I did. You did what? You got her horny? That's a good question, did I? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my freaking God. Did he just say, did I? I don't know if that was a statement or a freaking question. Oh, Darian, the wrong thing to say. Oh my God, no, he didn't just say that. No, he didn't just say that. Guys, comment down below. Was that a statement? Was he asking a question? He said, did I? Now, I'm confused. At this point, I'm confused. I'm literally lost for words. Let's, oh my freaking God. I don't believe what I just heard.
I don't believe what I just heard. I guess, <laughs> let's continue. This is crazy. You serious, bro? But yeah, I'm gonna be honest. It was disrespectful. No, hold up real quick, bro. You, what you, the you, hell? You just said, did you? You think this? You think this is a joke? I you think this is a game? Last year, and then when I came here, I took on a date because it's when I beat you. Okay, we we, we played one v one. Okay, you took her on a date. Okay, so. Oh. You think it's funny, bro? This, this is a joke. I should never even met up with you, bro. I should never. You know, guys. Now I'm really starting to wonder how this conversation is going to go. I thought the conversation was starting off really good until they got to this part of the diss track. So, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little nervous here, but we're going to just keep on going. Man, that was, I don't even know what I was thinking, man. Yeah, I, like I, was, was the good, good. I came over here on some chill shit, you feel me? Trying to talk to you, you know what I'm saying? And it's like you think, like you think this shit is a game. Like you think this is a game, bro? Sound like it's getting real serious now. Damon getting the custom and stuff. So I guess he's letting Darian know that this is not a joke. I mean, he's that's his big brother, so he has a right to to say things to his brother as well as discipline his brother. And a lot of y'all can concur with what I'm saying. A lot of y'all got brothers and sisters that y'all have problems with. And sometimes you gotta talk to them crazy and say certain things to get their attention and let them know that you're not playing around with them. So I think that is what's going on right here. Nah. Right now it's just me and you in the car. Your mom not here, or dad not here, so nobody can't save you. Nobody can't save you, bro. Nobody. Nobody can't save you, bro. Sometimes I don't need that. Excuse me, mm. speak up a little louder, what'd you say? Sometimes I don't need them. Ooh-wee. Sometimes you don't need them. So what you... I kind of feel like this is going from a regular conversation to some type of altercation. Damon licking his lips and sitting up in the seat, cursing. Darian, I mean, he's doing what a little brother's supposed to do. He's not backing down. So I just feel like, you know, I believe that they both need to just bring it back down a notch because this looks like it can go either direction from what I'm observing right now. I could be wrong, but we're going to continue. What do you want to do? <laughs> okay, bro. Dude, we, 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 can, we can get out the car. I can just show you real quick. What the I can heck? show you how big broke it down. What? Yeah. And I'm sure. Did you not see how I did that? What? Bro, 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 bro. What you mean how you did that? Come on, man, stay on topic. Leave me out the conversation. What you mean, how you did that? Stay on topic, stay on topic. This is your conversation. Leave your boy out of it, please. I see how I did that, bro. Oh, he said it again, You really bro. think this is a game, Darren? I don't wanna talk. I'm saying you really think this is a game. No, bro. It's just me and you right now. Nobody can't save you, bro. bro. Nobody can't save you. Why are you looking at me like that? Can't hurt you, right? Yeah, I came on some chill shit. And then you, I question you about the warning situation, right? And then you said, well, did I make a warning? But can I finish what I was gonna say though? Finish what you gonna say, bro. Finish what you gonna say, bro. All right, so what I was gonna say was, even when I took her on a date, when I bought her something, she was getting a little, you know what I'm saying, a little. Yeah. A little what? A little, what, what is this? What the hell is that? What is that? Darren, I know you not finna do this. Oh my God, guys. This could be bad. Cause right now I'm sitting here wondering. He said when I took her on a date, she was getting a little. Oh boy. Damon just cocked his whole entire arm back. Well, you know, you know what this means. What? Explain it to me, bro. I don't even know what. Explain it to me this in terms. What is? What does this mean? It's like, bro. It's like she was blushing. Oh my! Was blushing, bro. <laughs> I'm dead, man. He said she was blushing. 
So you, you, you gonna sit there and tell this man his wife was blushing. <laughs> Guys, listen, I know what y'all probably in the comments thinking like right now, dad, why is you laughing? I was not expecting for him to say that. Unexpectedly. When I bought her something. Bro, go back in the video and see, bro. My wife loves me. She loves me, bro. She ain't about to cheat on me. Oh my god. You think you could bag her or something? Nah, I'm just chilling. Chilling. You still got a crush on her? You still in love with her? See, look. Don't say the wrong thing, please don't. That's a good question, but I. It's just a yes or no question. I, what do you mean it's a good? How is that? A, look, 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 look. Can I answer? I don't. I don't. I don't know more. You happy? Is you happy? But I do a small, like one inch. Oh my feel God. Some type of way. Excuse me, you know what? Lose some type of weight. One inch, not like one inch. You know, I'm gonna say this right here. Darren, I know you're a kid and you're still learning, but the answer should be no, son. Not one inch, maybe just a little. No, we can't do that. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Bro, you, you think this is a game, bro? Bring I it, don't bro, know. You about, you about to get on my car. Alright, chill. You about chill. to get on my car, bro, for real. What do you mean, an inch? She make you feel type of waist, though. What do you mean, bro? That's my girl. That's not your... That's my girl. She too old for you. That's my girl. She too old for you, bro. That's my girl. Why your old girl? Bro, why you keep looking at me like that, though, bro? Bro, can we get back to the other questions? Bro, continue, man. Bro, what's up? Cause I, 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 still, I feel like you're still being disrespectful, bro. I do. This is how I feel. How you feel, man? The reason, even though you did say this, this, this might be kind of like a bad idea that I am in the court. Um, yes, it's been over seven months since I've seen you. Yes, it's been a while since we talked. We, before me and you started going at it, we did have little old relationships when I was little. Okay. Yeah. Could you remember uh, last time, this, this is before I even came down here. This is like, when I was in fifth grade, I came down in fifth grade. You remember me and you went to the gym, me and you. Yeah, you and Dad stay with me. What's yeah. up? Yep. Yeah. What about it? You soup. He's he's actually referring to 2019, where I had a bad situation happen um, around the mid the, towards the ending part of 2019. Is this? It was a time where I actually moved in with Damon and Bianca, and I stayed with them a total of two months before I got this house. And we were like Darian had came down with me one Christmas, and actually it was this. Yeah, it was his first time actually in Houston in 2019. And he had spent that Christmas with me and we had stayed with the Prince family. And we had stayed in the guest room and him and Damon had went and played basketball and stuff. So that's what he's referring to guys, just to bring you guys up to speed a little bit. Okay. I do miss those days. Well, I mean, I miss those days too of us hooping. I mean, I was, I was exposing you on the court. Mm. Shots fired. I was exposing you. Why, why, you, why you sound surprised? I was seeing shots on you. Dude, you can't beat me one on one. We never, when was the last time we went in the real gym? Since, we, since I was in fifth grade, that was probably like two years ago. But we can get back in the, we can get back in the gym right now. now it's gonna be the same results, I'm gonna expose you. Mm. We can get back in the gym. We this right here, guys, this is the type of battle that I would like to see my kids doing, especially my sons. I don't want my sons to be battling with each other over the internet and beefing. I would, and I don't, I definitely don't want my kids throwing hands. I would rather for them to beef instead of they beef on a basketball court. Because to me, regardless which one wins or which one loses, they're both winners in my eyes, no matter what. 
but I would rather see them settle their beef out on the court instead of like this. Get back in the gym, it don't matter to me. It don't matter, man. But anyway, listen. You need to chill out, man. For real, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Bianca, that's my wife, that's my girl. You a kid, man. You can stay in a kid's place. True. Facts. You're barely a teenager. You just turned 13. I turned 13 about like two months ago. You just turned 13, that's what he's saying, Darian. Listen, bro. It's not right for you to have a crush on my wife, okay? I'm your big bro. Facts. You're right. Like, my kids gonna grow up one day, they gonna see all this stuff on the internet. How you think my kids gonna feel seeing that their uncle had a crush on their mom? They probably gonna think I'm the weirdest person in the world. That is weird, man. You know, that's the thing about with the YouTube thing. The Prince family is very known, very well known around the world. The Cryer family, we are very known, very well known around the world. People know who we are no matter where we go. The thing with that is as far as like what he's saying, what Damon is saying as far as the way that the internet is, we can delete stuff off of our channels. Damon can delete stuff off the Prince family. I can delete stuff off the Cryer family. However, it's going to be up forever because you have people who shared those videos, people who reacted to those videos, such as me reacting to this video. So regardless of what we do or what we take down off of our channels, it's always gonna be on the internet forever. And so that's to me and Darian, that was like the most damaging part of all, knowing that people are gonna see this when they get older, especially the kids, DJ, Kyrie, Nova, Ayla, they're all gonna see this. Dion, they're all gonna see it, you know? And sometimes once the genie's out the bottle, you cannot put the genie back in. Yeah, now they're quiet, they both quiet. Bro, I don't even know, man. I really don't know, man. I try to come over here and uh, just talk to you, man, and just I don't know, man. I just feel like, like, I don't know. I don't want to feel like I'm wasting my time, am I? Guys, I think this is a situation right here. I think, you know, I have to step into this one right here for Darian. I think this is a situation where Darian was looking for the right words to say, but the words that he was looking for to say was coming out wrong. Like when he says, do you still feel that way? And he says, I don't know. I don't know if Darian was actually comprehending what his brother was actually asking him. Again, I think being nervous, trying to answer the question, it seemed like he was answering the questions wrong, even as I'm looking at the video. But I think in his defense, I believe Darian knew exactly what he wanted to say. I think he was just really more or less nervous while trying to do it, and if that makes sense. Where can we go from here, man? You said what? Like, not, like no disrespect, but you want like you up top. Like you first place. Appreciate it, man. Brother told me he appreciates it. So, I mean, wow, man. There's other girls out there for you, man. I mean, if you want me to, I can help you find something. 
that what you want me to do or you cool? You don't you don't want my help? I'm alright, I just been chilling lately. His his yeah. <laughs> Okay guy, y'all hear Darren's response. He said I'm alright, I just been chilling lately. I think Damon was asking Darian, basically telling Darian, listen, little bro, there's more girls out here. You want me to help you find one? I think, again, Darian was a little shy, and I think he was probably a little shocked at the question that Damon asked him. Um, you ask a 13-year-old, you want me to help you find a girlfriend? Of course, they're going to look at you side-eye. They're not going to just come right out and say, yes, big bro, please help me find a girlfriend. That's just not what 13-year-olds do. You know why? because they're focused on other things like school, homework, basketball, fishing. They're trying to get on the phone with their friends and jump on one of their gaming systems at home. So, looks like that this video is starting to come to an end, guys. So let's go ahead and finish it up. So what type of grades you get in school, man? See, get some what? See, social, not in science, I literally get uh, you got an F in science? Yes, but I hate Yes, what Darian's saying is yes. I recently got a copy of his report card. Darian got all A's and B's and he had a F. That F stood out to me. It jumped out at me. And there was a, he got an F in science. And I believe that he had the same issue that I had years ago with comprehension. You actually, it's almost like social studies. You can read the sentence or read a paragraph or two, go back and ask the question, he was reading it and he understood what he was reading, but at the same time, he couldn't comprehend it. So when it was time to go back and answer A, B, C, or D, or none of the above, he kind of got stuck. So he ended up getting an F in science. But we've been talking about that. We're not going to let that go over our head because an F is something that we're trying to stay far away from. An F stands for failure, and none of my kids are going to become failures. None of them. Science. To, to play on the next level, bro. Absolutely. You, you know that, right? Yeah, I had some F in math, but I mean, no, no, I had some F in uh, science, but the rest I just had A's, B's, and C's. Don't you want to the NBA? Yeah. Okay, you need to, it starts with school. Why are you failing? Why are you failing science? Science is hard. And plus, we barely, you don't even get no help. Go to. This is the type of big brother versus little brother conversations that I like to hear right here. You know, because this is not just about, you know, about what happened with the disrespect, the diss tracks, the music video, you know, they're also going, Damon took it a step farther, doing what a big brother's supposed to do. And he's not only concerned, but he's also asking key questions as far as how is things going to school? Why are you failing? You know, what do you need to do to get those grades up? So I think even though things might start off bad, there's always, it always makes, makes things better when it's a positive ending to it. And so far, I like the way that it's actually ending with them talking about schooling, the grades and stuff like that. And it just gets no better than that. It just doesn't get any better than this. Tutor, get tutor. Or are you too focused on these girls? Mm -mm. Or are you too focused on I Bianca? Uh, I'm going to be honest. You don't have tutor? You got two excuses. Nope. You don't have no excuse. You shouldn't be failing in no, no grades, bro. If you're going to make it to the next level, you have to perform in the classroom first. I already passed 7th grade, but I didn't know this. It don't matter, bro. You shouldn't be failing no classes. You're too smart for that. Next for us, bro. I 
Thanks, Luke. There you go. Good job, man. I want you to apologize. I want you to apologize to my supporters. All right, y'all. I'm sorry everything I done. I did, I did do some little stupid things, cause you know. Speak up, they can't hear you, man. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry what I did, you know what I'm saying? I, I did dumb things. Come on, I'm not the only person in life. We all make mistakes, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, damn it, I'm sorry to you too. And, yeah, hopefully we can move on. No more disrespect, and that's it. That's all I gotta say. right man we all make mistakes man i made a lot of mistakes growing up as a kid you know um but you know i learned from a lot of mistakes man but you know and I, you, used to, I used to make a lot of mistakes i used to fight some of my family members when i should i used to fight my sister my brother my cousin my stepbrother i used to hate that yeah i didn't see them changing so i don't fight them no more you can't do that, man. Yeah, absolutely. We all make mistakes, but you gotta learn from them. That's the key. You gotta learn. You can't keep, you can't repeat the same mistake over and over and over. You're not gonna get nowhere in life. And that's something I want to touch on before we end this video off, guys. We are going to go through life making mistakes. None of us was born with a manual in our hand. None of us was born with instructions. As far as how life works, we got our, our instructions from our parents, step parents, or whatever that you have in your household. You know, when you make, you know, history does one thing, and you guys hear me say this in a lot of videos, guys. History does one thing, and one thing only. History repeats itself. You know why? History has nowhere to go. It has nowhere to go. That's why it repeats itself. But when you make mistakes, you have the options to not repeat those same mistakes. You can't stop history from repeating itself. Everybody think because they come out with a new dance. That's not a new dance. That's not a new hairstyle. There is nothing new under the sun. What has been will be again. History is always going to repeat the same mistake. It has nowhere to go. But you don't have to repeat the same mistakes. So I'm glad that he touched on that topic. Feel me, man? Apology accepted, man. I apologize too, bro. You know, for wow. disrespecting you. Um, two wrongs don't make it right. No, it don't. I did say that uh, I brought your mom up, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I apologize to her. Um, Amen. I, uh, and a diss track also brought up. I see you got mental problems and stuff, and you was a sore loser, man. I ain't really mean that, man. You hear me? You sure? You said what? I see you straight. Cool, bro. That's what I'm talking about but, right there. Uh, my other question is. What's up? I'm not allowed back to come back over. Excuse me? I'm not allowed back to come back over. Come back over where? The house. What you want over there? I was just saying. You don't like it at the accurate? I do, but sometimes I just want to like get out the house and do something. I only have two family members here. I have you and I have my other sister here. Well, you, you said you disrespected my wife and you disrespected my kids. So you're going to have to apologize with them as well. And if Bianca wants you there, you're going to have to ask her, bro. If she wants you there, then you could come. But if she don't want you there, I mean, I mean, that's my wife, bro. If she don't want you there, you can't, you can't come. So you have to ask her. And you have to apologize to her. Because she, she, she was not happy about the shit you said, you know what I'm saying? It's true. No, well, you know, we're we gonna, we gonna take it a step at a time, all right? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk to B, and I'm gonna see if she is even willing to carry you or dad out. And if she is, then um, I'll let you know. You yeah. heard. We'll go from there. But I want to pull up on you, man, and just let you know I love you, man, and um, keep your head up, bro. 
But all right, man, I'll let you go. I'll let, I'll let you get back to doing what you was doing, man. All right, love you. All right, love you too, man. All right, y'all. So as you're going to talk on my little bro, um, comment down below how y'all feel about this whole conversation, how you feel about everything. I still got a little bit mixed emotions about some stuff because it was some stuff that I felt like, I don't know, man, I know he's a little kid, so he's only 13, but he wasn't taking me serious with some of the stuff I was talking about or bringing up. But, you know, we're going to work on that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm here as big bro, and I'm willing to make a sacrifice to, you know, help, my, help little bro get through whatever it is he's going through. Um, so, I don't know, all in all, man, you know, I'm, I'm just here trying to be the bigger person, try to just rekindle some things, because, you know, life's short, it's very short. But just comment down below how y'all feel about everything. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything, really, the whole situation. And let me know if I should. I don't know, man. I, I'm a, when I go home, I'm going to talk to Bianca. And I'm going to ask Bianca, will she meet up with my brother and dad and just talk? You know? Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end the video off right there, guys. Um... You know, I was really happy to see this video. Um, it was exciting and emotional at the same time. Um, not knowing which direction that the conversation was going to go. But what I am happy to say is that I'm glad that we are starting to rekindle our relationship and taking everything one step at a time. You know, our family is judged because our life is on the internet again. And, and I just felt like you know, on the internet or, or off the internet, you're gonna always have problems. Family are go always gonna have problems more than friends because family knows everything about you. Family always knows personal stuff about you. But with that being said, I'm just happy that it's starting to become a positive outturn so far. We don't know what the future holds. We don't know how the conversation is gonna go with Bianca. I do understand that she's still feeling some type of way, but at the end of the day, guys, we have to start somewhere. And this, to me, is a very, very strong and positive beginning. You know, so I want to thank you guys for watching this video, man. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment on the video. And if you like, you can share the video. Also, guys, let's get this video to 3,000 likes. And I'll drop another video for you guys. But until next time, I'm Damian Cryer. I love you guys, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace.